mission. Hey, what's up guys? Mine's your Fire Storm, and uh, we're back with Fire in Three Houses. And I'm checking out the cast, because why not? Um, or the roster. So today we're just gonna talk to pretty much everybody. Uh, here's the deal, right? There are gonna be points where I'm gonna be talking to the house leaders, and they're gonna talk about who who's in their house, right? So uh, after each one, except for the house leaders, because I've already talked to them, I'm gonna put in a snippet of me talking to that specific, uh, uh, person. So we're gonna talk to Seth and then Eloise first. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay then, jeez. And, if we can, let's try to get through every uh, location. The mini-map in the upper right corner of the screen shows your current location. The locations of more people, direction to question to quest givers and more. Zoom or change the map view with the ZR button. So, there's Edelgard. Reception hall. It sounds like people are talking, but the only one here is Edelgard. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's the second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's all so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible! The name's Kaspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Yeesh, Linhard. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Shot Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric. But she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Come on. Ah! Good! I don't talk to strangers! 
strangers? Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Castle State of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello, I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Alright, I think it's time to find some of these... Oh, here's the one person we want to talk to. Greetings! You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. This is definitely not the way to go. This is the way to go. Um, we have the... The, uh, we need to trigger the cutscene thing. Officers Academy, there we go. Uh, this is where all the classrooms are. So this is where we can talk to everyone, but first we're gonna talk talk with the, the leaders first. So let's find Dimitri, who is just down here. Hello. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um... <laughs> please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Dudu was born in Dusker and has been loyally working in my service for the past full It's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, Please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, 
Well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Hey! Hey there! Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy! Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers' Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Yes. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, so I was thinking, I was thinking of one of my, one of my playthroughs okay. should be a weakness route, so which... Actually, I only discovered this in my uh, group, uh, where you only use weaknesses. Although there probably have to be some exceptions if you want to use everyone. Like I think Ingrid, Ingrid and uh, Ferdinand don't have any weaknesses. So maybe a a mostly weakness run, and if there's exceptions like I don't know, you pick a third tier class that has has a weapon that's not a weakness, but rather has to be neutral. You could probably, you could probably have some uh, some guidelines there. Let's talk to Claude and find out about Golden Deer. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Bon. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, 
She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with the students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. It is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It's her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M marianne Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her helping to send her here. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? I appreciate your effort. I think we're gonna go, uh... We're gonna go explore some more. Right, right. That person who just said that agreed with me. Um... Can we even go too far? Okay, let's try over here. I don't think we can go too far. Yeah, they're just they're just night here. I don't exactly know where Rhea is. Yeah. Unless that flashing light has anything to do with it. time at the Academy thus far. I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer all so different i hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them since you are new here we have decided to allow you first pick manuela and i will take charge of the remaining two houses okay this is where we stop the episode because again yeah they let they let us stop Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank goodness I have a chance to save here. And then I'm going to... I'm gonna probably exit out at some point. So I can uh, copy this, the save file four times, or maybe three times, and I'll see what happens with Black Eagles. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If, if you liked the video, can, please consider dual slashing that like button, or setting a blaze that subscribe button. And uh, see you guys, and stay safe.